Good morning everyone and welcome to the Halloween night with blood, gore and everything. It's your tonight host. It is Jasmine B. Well, thank you that narrator. That's right, I am your host. Jasmine Dick, the wrinkly old beautiful queen with a sense of cock, I mean, sorry, wrong word, comedy in. So, yes, it's, yeah, it's today's show, The Quarry, episode 5. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, they found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. So this may not be like the best may not be like the best time per se, but like what? Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well like now that summer's over and you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, sorry, Nick, what what are you saying? Kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. And it's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just... Didn't know if you did too. That... Seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I... You can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what was going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? 
No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. And do do you enjoy the blasé, Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan, Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan, Dylan. I'm Ryan, Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. back and really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. Okay, so we got bear traps. Okay, so probably what killed Emma must be an attack Nick. Ah. Interesting. The hunters must be doing something with it, so... They're trying to catch the creature? Oh, I'm definitely... Oh, oh, oh I'm excited. It, there's a lot of mystery around here, so I'm wondering is like let's look for clues. Good? 
All good? Dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The te technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, Teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's my. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um,. You know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt. And um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. I don't know. Hold on. We can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... 
That's not possible, right? Oh, shit. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. No! Oh my God. What? Why didn't you tell me there was something out there? I I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I have no idea. What is that, Brian? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Thing we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh. Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Do it. Take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's something missing. I... What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Now, go quickly. Cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! 
Okay, okay, okay. Just, just hang on, hang on. Fuck. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Well, wonder who body is it? Wink, wink, wink. That's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us 
have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. The Hermit. Strange. This card holds no future. But there's a past that calls out to me. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two more things I can show you. The devil, one possible future. And the hermit, a predetermined past. What'll it be? spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Well, everything kicked off. The rest of the gang still alive. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... Abby, I'm not really sure of now. Also, uh, what was the guy doing uh, in when she let you to look in the past? Um, very interesting. So, th the further I go, the more mystery resolves. This does, however, feel like more of a film rather than like little hope uh -huh. rather than uh until dawn man of madan and house of ashes i do like where it's going this creature feature but it does feel a little short it's that the only few clues we can find and oh that's there's only flu cues we can find and that's it. It's back to the movie scene. Um, but so far I'm actually liking it. The plot, the characters. Uh, well, not much of characters, but they are fleshed out with the plot. Um, this does remind me of... Li Obviously it, you know... I do see what uh, the YouTube people are trying to say that it's I don't know um, I have to wait till I finish it so far so I can get the reveal but so far it's like a bloody gory slasher movie well creature feature movie um, I'll see you next time like and subscribe and I'll see you next time